So uh, can you tell us a little bit about the, the main purpose of this uh, conference? Yes, uh, uh, the main uh, uh, purpose of the conference is to discuss the development of uh, bioenergy and biofuels for the transportation sector and especially to meet within the branch, the different industries, and discuss uh, market development and technical possibilities. And also to tell everyone that there is plenty of biomass available to produce biofuels. And in Sweden, this meeting has been held, uh, as far as I remember, like uh, five years or more. Can you tell us a little bit, uh, since uh, five years ago, what kind of progress you have made? Uh, yes, today we have uh, in transportation sector 12% of renewable fuels or biofuels and it's uh, uh, different types uh, of fuels. It's ethanol, it's uh, biogas, uh, big is also drop-in diesels, that is uh, uh, ordinary diesel in the ordinary diesel fuel and then there is also B100, uh, a biodiesel that is produced from uh, rapeseed. Uh, so those four are, are the different types of fuel that we use and it has been very successful the last years. Okay. Uh, then what's the key for the progress and uh, what's the obstacle uh, for future development? Yeah, uh, you know, biofuels are usually a little bit more expensive than uh, fossil fuels or ordinary petrol and, and diesel. And uh, we need some kind of uh, uh, instrument to take care of that difference. Uh, when the oil price is high, uh, it's all right for a competitor to, to deliver biofuels also. But, but since you have to make an investment that costs a lot of money and you have to write off the industry or the factory for 15 years, during those 15 years, um, it's likely to believe that oil price can go down also which it has done at the moment. So we need some kind of uh, tax exemption or a decision of that there is carbon tax on fossil emissions, on fossil diesel and so on. Uh, so I think that's, uh, and, and we have had that. We have had a, a energy tax exemption on biofuels and also a carbon dioxide tax on fossil fuels. So this has made room for the development of the biofuels in Sweden. Mm -hmm. But uh, for the future development or further development, is there any difficulty? Uh, yes, it's in the same area because, uh, of course, uh, you can feel that uh, it can be expensive to have energy tax exemption. And, and we believe that it's, uh, it's all right to start to tax biofuels as well. But, of course, since we have the climate problem, we need to have a carbon emission tax or emission fee on fossil emissions. And uh, at the moment, uh, we are not allowed to increase the carbon dioxide tax according to the European Union legislation. So this is a fundamental problem for the, for the ongoing development at the moment, that we are not able to use the carbon emission tax. Uh, carbon emission tax is the most efficient, w efficient way to support other types of uh, uh, alternative fuels. E Either if it's electricity or if it's biofuel, we, we believe that uh, taxing the problem is the best way to support the others. Because it's not up to the politicians to pick the winners. It's about market competition and lower costs. Uh, and the industry can, that can deliver the solution at a low cost is the industry that should win. Mm -hmm. And what is your final goal in this field? Uh, uh, the final goal is to have a fossil-free transportation sector, both in aviation, in uh, sea transport, and for ordinary vehicles. And we believe that is very possible to do. By 2030. In Sweden, the goal is to be fossil-free in 2030. Yes. And uh, you think the uh, biofuel for the even the uh, airplane and uh, uh, boat is also uh, uh, viable? Yes, we think so. Uh, we try to cover all these three sectors at this conference and uh, we definitely have very interesting progress in the aviation sector. Uh, uh, so absolutely, it, it will be possible. There is al already uh, one uh, 
air, uh, air, air station that uh, uh, already have a blend of uh, aviation uh, of biofuel in their in their jet fuels. And uh, in Norway, at Gardermoen, they also will start to do this in one or two years to blend, have a mandatory blend on bi in bi of biofuels in the jet fuels. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.